Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Aquarius, whoa. Okay, so before we start your money reading, they're like, hey, where are we lying to ourselves a little bit about money, career, finances? They're like, we need to think about things the way that we did as a kid. So basically, our adult mind is fucking us over, right? When I was a child, I might have wanted to um, grow up and be a circuit like a bear trainer for the circus and then my adult rational mind is like that's not really a job and even if it is a job it's a job where you have to know somebody or like own a circus or it's a job that you know um bear trainers in the circus have held for the last few decades and I don't see them retiring soon and maybe animals are going away from the circus um whatever Whatever the lies are that we tell ourselves, our rationalities, our excuses, our bullshit, okay? They're like, you have got to be more open-minded and kind of trusting of the universe and of your own self and your own power that we can co-create what it is that we want. That's where we have to go back to. Because um, they're like, whatever it is that you used to love doing, you might not even know what your passion is, what your purpose is. Um, and when we're living in the flow of our passion or our purpose, we actually make a lot more money, um, even though it might be logically nonsensical, because money just flows to that kind of energy, okay? Um, so we're focused more on what we don't want, on what we don't like, on what's not rational, how is it going to be fucking hard, and we're basically stabbing ourselves. Like, we are... Um, killing our potential okay so they're like um also that's not a good form of self-care like a good form of self-care is building yourself up and telling yourself what is possible and encouraging yourself to do the hard work and make the connections that you need to achieve your goals they're like so yeah harsh reality harsh truth but there are people around that can help you um even if you don't know the right people, somebody that you know might know the right person, um, the universe, like your angels, your spirit guides, they'll all work behind the scenes to get you where you need to be in order to get what you need, okay? And so they're saying, like, you know, any pain coming from any of your current work or financial situations is maybe not 100% your fault, but they're like, it's a solid 70% your fault, at least in the month of September, and so they're saying, you know, some of you need to kind of break away from, you know, these, I don't know how to call it. What is the word? Um, it's, it's similar to contract, like contractual agreements that we've kind of made in our mind. It's like, here's the recipe for this. Here's the recipe for that. Um, but you know, if we throw the recipe out the window, or maybe we kind of like loosely base our behaviors and our goals on an existing recipe, and we put like a bunch of flair into it, then all of a sudden, we've created something amazing. And so for some of you, this is going to be about, you know, leaving your former career path and following a new one. Um, for others of you, this is going to be about doing something a different way that suits you better. Um, it's going to be about making amendments. Uh, but there is this energy this month for you where it's like, I put a lot of love, time, energy into this relationship, into this, you know, friendship, into this workplace, into this business. And now it's time for me to move on and do something else. And so it might be like, hey, okay, you know what? I'm going to sell this business. Or, hey, I'm going to go you know, do this other thing, whatever. Um, or I'm going to leave this partnership and that might affect us financially, right? Um, I'm going to, who, who knows? But, because that's going to be different for everybody. I can be more specific in a personal reading. But essentially what they're saying is, this is a really good thing though, right? So 
we don't need to be sad because we're just taking it. Yes, that was great. But now the time has come for us to do something different. And that can also be great. And actually, even it can be even greater. E even though what we did was really amazing, you know, eight solid eight out of 10. Now it's time to go find 10 out of 10. Okay. So anyway, that was kind of an interjection, a little hijacking from your spirit guides. But oh, and they're like, we got one more. They say this is not a good month for you to be um, like putting, like for you to be questioning the next investment of your time. <laughs> They're like biggest thing, like even if you don't know what you're going to do next, even if you're just going to go be in pursuit of something that's a 10 out of 10, it's still important to leave the 8 out of 10 because to be honest, for a lot of you, it wasn't even an 8 out of 10. It was a 6 out of 10. And now you've learned a lot about yourself and about how the way that things work. And so you're going to take those lessons with you moving forward. Does that make sense? Okay. So now we can finally get to the, to the reading as intended. <laughs> Your general money vibe in the beginning of the month. They're like focusing on the positive, even if it's not perfect. The middle of the month, they're like, this is where you really fully come into that power. And you're feeling empowered to make those changes and to do the things and, you know, feeling super confident about yourself. And that's awesome. End of the month. They're saying, um, there's some things here going on. Cancer had maybe, I think, no, it wasn't cancer. It was you in your general reading, um, which there will be a link to at the end of this video that says, um, you know, certain things are maybe going to happen that are not within our control, but we're actually safe, we're okay, everything's fine, okay? We might not feel like we have a lot of choice, a lot of options, but that's okay, you know? It's like when you go to one of those fancy, like, seven-course restaurants, and they're like, okay, so you can have the duck or you can have the pork. And it's like, well, shit, um, I don't eat pork, so I guess I'll have the duck. But it ends up to be amazing, okay? Um... Your money theme for the month is all about being open to receiving, allowing other people to give you compliments, to give you love, to actually give you money, um, creating an environment in which you're open to receiving that. If somebody wants to pay for lunch, let them. Um, put a little tip jar out somewhere because people are, maybe they don't realize they should tip you and they want to and it makes them feel good and it makes you feel good, okay? Okay. That's kind of um, the theme, is being open to receiving money. They're like, we haven't always felt confidence about that. But that's where that like personal empowerment kind of vibe comes in, surrounding our money and career. In the middle of the month especially is when we'll kind of see the payoffs of that if you start it in the beginning. So potential new income sources for you. Um, I mean, they're saying like, if something didn't work in the past, like you tried something and you failed, doesn't mean it's going to fail now. Things change, people change, society changes, it might work now, okay? Um, so, but it's not like a new idea coming through. Actions to take to advance your career this month, they're like really nothing except for maintaining your emotional balance. You know, if your vibe is good, then, you know, we should just kind of be steady on that path. What's going right with your current career path? Um... So actually, they're like, nah, we want to talk about the challenges <laughs> with your current career path. They're like, the challenge is the balance, whether that is um, having enough money, getting paid your worth, whether that's work-life balance. They're saying it's about, you know, challenging where we started uh, that need to be optimistic and like anything is possible and, you know, like a child would. And then the challenge is really to find the love in what you're doing and you know to really find your passion and your purpose and to keep on doing that and they're saying for some of you that might be um something where we do have to look back to childhood what did i love doing as a kid and how can i you know maybe do that just in a different way as an adult so cool um what's going right then with your current career path and they're like endings and new beginnings that's the biggest thing. Um, certain things have to crumble away, be bulldozed and torn down so new, better things can be built in their place, right? Um, what's going on in your life, like, don't view it as, you know, an ancient relic historical site. Like, this shit was built in 1980 and it's starting to mold. And there might be happy memories there, but, like, 
is is not that great. Like, let's just build, like, bulldoze it, and we'll build it this time. It'll be more beautiful and efficient. It'll have fucking solar panels and shit, right? So anyway, I love you so much, and have the best September ever. I'll see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.